What's going on guys, Audio here, welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my 4-2-3-1 custom tactics and instructions. And I'm also going to be telling you guys what kind of players you should have in every single position so you can use this formation to its full potential. The 4-2-3-1 this year is just amazing, it has a really nice balance, it's good going forward and it is really good on defense as well. I didn't think one striker formations would have worked too well this year because of how slow the dribbling is. But I'm telling you guys, with the right tactics and instructions, you can definitely play formations that have only one striker. So let me show you guys the tactics for the 4 2 3 one that I am using. The defensive style is balance. The width is 45. The depth is 65. The build-up play is long ball. The chance creation is direct passing. The width is 43. Players on the box 7. Corners 2. And free kicks 1. The reason I have chance creation on direct passing is simply because of the same thing that happens last year. Like, it pushes back your opponent's defensive line, allowing your cam, left cam, and right cam to have way more space to work with. The long ball, I feel like long ball uh, is so good on this formation. Like, it just works really well because there's always like a very unexpected run happening. And if your opponent doesn't see it, you can obviously go for it. Next thing you know, you're through on goal. So yeah, have long ball on the 4 2 3 1. The depth being at 65. I don't play deep in any FIFA. I don't really like to. Like, sometimes you're obviously forced to, but there's a lot of situations you're not forced to at all, and some people just do it for the sake of doing it. So, yeah, I don't like playing too deep this year. I like to play quite high up, so that is why my depth is on 65. You can have, like, 63. 60 also works well. It's just I feel like 65 is the sweet spot. Now, what kind of players should you have in each position so you can use this formation to its full potential. Starting off with the goalkeeper. I can't actually go down to the goalkeeper, but just act like I am on it. The goalkeeper can be anyone. It can be Neuer, Oblak, Courtois. It really does not matter. I've got Ariola. He's been performing for me, so that is why he is in the team. The centre-backs, just make sure they're fast. That's all you need. Just make sure they are fast. Obviously, if you can have the lengthy uh, accelerate type on your centre-backs as well, definitely do that because that is very good this year. The fullbacks, they don't go up too much. But honestly, just in case, get fullbacks that actually feel pretty good on the ball as well. Because there is definitely sometimes that I see Ferland Mendy going up and Diego Dolot going up. So yeah, just make sure they have a pretty good dribbling ability and obviously is solid on defense. With the CDMs, you want one really, really good defensive midfielder. So for me, I've got Chiromeni. This guy is an absolute beast this year. The way he goes into tackles is just simply incredible. And the other one, you want to kind of use as like a box to box. So a player that can go forward and a player that can defend defend really well. Valverde is obviously perfect for that. He might not have an incredible dribbling ability, but he can go for long shots. He's got a great amount of pace as well in that midfield. Dr uh, not dribbling, sorry. Passing is insane. He can be one of those players that just can easily switch the ball with uh, no issue at all. So yeah, Valverde is like perfect for this formation. But yeah, just have like a really nice defensive midfielder and the other one all rounded. In the cam position, you definitely want a player that can play in like a striker position, but has got better passing. So Mares is amazing for a cam in this uh, formation because you can give him really good pace, really good shooting with the right cam style. His dribbling is insane. The passing ability is nice. The five-star skill moves is nice and everything. You want a player like that because a lot of the times in this formation, the cam does overlap the striker. And if they do overlap, most likely they're going to get through on goal. And if you're in a shooting opportunity, you obviously want to go for the shot. And if you have a player that's not got great shooting, most likely you're going to miss that opportunity. So having Morris in that cam position is just straight up amazing for me personally. I definitely don't suggest having someone that's got like high low work rates. High medium, perfect. Uh, medium, medium, very good. I would probably say high medium is better though in that position. But yeah, high low don't have that because pretty much what you're going to see is your cam is going to play strike and your striker is going to play cam. It's really weird. Your wingers, so your left cam, your right cam. There's two ways of going around this. So you can have one player as like a target man. So I got Darwin Nunes. This guy is just really good at heading. He's tall. He wins those uh, 50 50s. And he's like a really nice outlet if you're getting put under pressure. And the other side, I've got a really agile player, a really fast player, Sterling. I would say he's kind of underrated this year, but. He goes for a ridiculous amount of coins. Sterling is just amazing. He feels so good on the ball. He's super fast as well. His shooting ability obviously isn't top tier, but it's pretty good with the right chem style. But yeah, that's one way of going around it. Uh, the other way is just having straight up two wingers. So Sterling on one side 
Anthony on the other. Anthony in this game is, yeah, is disgusting. So having Anthony on like the side would be outrageous. I definitely would suggest though, Anthony on the left-hand side because this guy's outside foot is amazing. And the striker position, fast, clinical, great on the ball. I've got player of the month, Rashford. He feels nice on the ball. He's got five-star skill moves. He's a, he's a clinical finisher. He's shooting on that stronger foot, definitely is top tier. And he's really, really fast obviously with the right chem style. So yeah, Rashford in that striker position is amazing. Instructions. So starting off with a goalkeeper, default. You don't want to have anything special on, a, on the keeper. No point. Don't have him on sweeper keeper. He's going to come out in stupid situations. And next thing you know, you're getting chipped. Center backs, stay back while attacking. So default. Don't have anything special on the center backs. Full backs, stay back while attacking on both of them. Now, as I said, they do go forward sometimes, but it's a rare occasion when they do because usually the ram and the lamb is just sitting there ready to get that ball down the line. So it's not giving the fullbacks an opportunity to go forward. But sometimes they do if the lamb and ram is really high up on the pitch. With the CDMs, you want both of them on stay back while attacking cover center. I know some people have one of these on like balance attack. I don't think it's the way to go. I feel like stay back while attacking on both of them is insane because you already have so many options going forward. You have the cam, you got the lamb, you got the ram and you got the striker as well. So having both of these just uh, sitting back giving you a passing option still is all I need. It's not like they literally just sit back all the way. It's not like they're hugging the center back. No, they are still quite high up and they're giving you a passing option. And that's all I want from my CDMs in this formation. With the cam, you are going to have get in the box for a cross. A lot of people have the cam on default in this formation, but I don't know, something about getting a box for a cross on the middle cam, I feel like it just hits a little bit different. It feels like you turn this formation into two strikers when you're running down the line with uh, your ram or lamb, and it's really, really nice. So yeah, make sure to have getting a box for a cross for your middle cam. Your lamb and ram are gonna be on the exact same thing, come back on defense, get in the box for a cross. The comeback on defense allows these two to obviously come back and help out your fullbacks and allows you to uh, double team the sides. The get in the box for a cross, you guys obviously know what that is. Nunes, if he has the ball, Sterling would run inside the box and it allows you to get like a back stick header really, really nicely. And the striker, default. Don't have anything on like getting behind, don't have stay forward, don't have anything like that because you have one striker, in this formation you want them to do everything you want them to go to the sides you want them to obviously sometimes stay down the middle just believe in your strikers movement they're gonna come short sometimes they're gonna run in behind i guess it kind of depends what kind of striker but if you have a player like rashford if you have a player like harland if you got a player like even someone like dan juma they are gonna work really well in this formation as i said just make sure your striker has got a good amount of pace feels nice on the ball and a really really good finish and you should be good to go but yeah that is my 4231 custom tactics and instructions if you guys are going to use these make sure to let me know how it goes in your comment section obviously give it a few games i say this at the end of all my custom tactics don't give it one game please don't give it one game and expect to turn into a prime tex or a prime gorilla it's not going to happen we all know it's not going to happen give it a few games if you obviously don't like it then completely switch up but if you do like it make sure to come back to the comment section and say that you did. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.